Chapter 2 Geographic Grid Latitudes and Longitude Introduction The Earth's surface is so vast that unless a mathematical method is used, it is impossible to locate any place on it. For this reason, imaginary lines are drawn on the globe. The line running east to west parallel to the equator are called line of latitude. The lines running north to south passing through the pole are called lines of longitude. The intersection of latitudes and longitudes pinpoint any place on the Earth's surface. These crisscrossing lines form a framework known as the geographic grid. Eratosthenes, the Greek philosopher, who had for the first time calculated the circumference of the earth, had devised lines of latitude and longitude to locate places on the earth. These important reference lines help us locate places, make various kinds of calculations, indicate directions and show many other features. This grid on the globe or the map serves the same purpose as does the system of coordinates on the x-axis and y-axis on a graph paper. In the present case, the x-axis is represented by line of latitude, that is horizontal, and y-axis by line of longitude, that is vertical. Lines of latitude a latitude is the angular distance of a place north or south of the equator. A latitude is marked in degrees, with equator being zero degrees. Latitudes are calculated according to the angle a place makes with the center of the earth. Lines of latitude are the imaginary lines joining all places having the same latitude towards north or south of the equator. Since the lines of latitude are parallel to the equator and each other, they are called parallels of latitude. Each parallel of latitude is a full circle. However, only the equator is a great circle. The lines of latitude are not of equal length and become smaller as we move towards the poles. At 60 degree latitude, in each hemisphere, the length of the circle is half the length of the equator. At the poles, these lines are just points or dots, main latitudes. There are 181 parallels of latitude at 1 degree interval. Equator is the longest line of latitude. It represents zero degree latitude. The North Pole, 90 degree north, is located at an angular distance of 90 degree north of the equator. The South Pole is located at an angular distance of 90 degrees south of the equator. The Tropic of Capricorn, 23 and a half degree south, is a line of latitude located 23 and a half degrees south, south of the equator. The Tropic of Cancer, 23 and a half degree north, is a line of latitude located 23 and a half degree north of the equator. The Arctic Circle represents 66 and a half degree north latitude. The Arctic Circle marks the limit of the North Polar region surrounding the North Pole. The Antarctic Circle represents 66 and a half degree south latitude. The Antarctic Circle marks the limit of the South Polar region around the South Pole. Format me dekna chate hai, to hume description me diye gaye number par call kare. Northern and Southern Hemisphere. The equator that runs midway between the poles divides the Earth into two equal hemispheres known as the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. The poles, North Pole and South Pole, are opposite to each other at the extreme ends of the sphere. 
They are each located at 90 degree angular distance north or south of the equator. The length of the equator is equal to the circumference of the earth or 40,077 kilometers. Since the circumference of a circle is equal to 360 degrees, the 1 degree angular distance is roughly equal to 111 kilometers. Uses of Latitudes The lines of latitude form one of the coordinates of the grid system. The lines of latitude have the following uses. Measure the distance of a place. Latitudes give us the location of a place north or south of the equator. Such a location is known as an absolute location. Distances are calculated with reference to the equator at right angle to the place. We can therefore measure the distance of any place from the equator based on its degree of latitude. For example, latitude of Mumbai is 19 degree north and that of New Delhi is 30 degree north. We know that 1 degree latitude is equal to 111 kilometers. Isn't that so? So we can say that Mumbai is 2,109 kilometers, that is 111 into 19 degrees away from equator. Similarly, New Delhi is 3,330 kilometers, that is 111 into 30 degrees away from equator. Heat zones. Besides helping us to locate places on maps and charts, lines of latitude divide the earth into distinct heat belts. The lines of latitude indicate the general climate of the area by applying the principle of heat zones or thermal zones of the earth. The area lying between the Tropic of Cancer, that is 23.5 degree north, and Tropic of Capricorn, that is 23 and a half degrees south, mark the limits of the torrid, meaning very hot, zone. It is also called the tropical zone. Two other important lines of latitude based on temperature are the Arctic Circle, 66 and a half degree north, and the Antarctic Circle, 66 and a half degree south. Between the Arctic Circle and the Tropic of Cancer, as well as between the Antarctic Circle and the Tropic of Capricorn, lie the two temperate zones, the North Temperate and the South Temperate zones. Between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole, and between the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole, are the two frigid zones of the Earth. These are the polar regions and receive the sun's slanting rays. In these two zones, very low temperatures are recorded. If you want to see all the chapters in this format, then call us on the number description. Longitude and Time The lines of longitude, as stated earlier, are also known as the meridians. At a particular moment of time, if it is 12 noon at a given longitude, it must be 12 noon at all places on this longitude. The Earth makes a complete circle on its axis. It covers 360 degrees longitude in 24 hours. That is to say, it covers every 15 degree longitudes in 1 hour or 1 degree longitude every 4 minutes. Thus, if it is 12 noon at 0 degree longitude, it must be 4 minutes past 12 noon towards the east at the next 1 degree east longitude or at 15 degree east longitude, it must be 1 p.m. Towards the west, it will be 1 hour less because the earth rotates from west to east as the sun first rises in the east. Right? For the purpose of memorizing, EGA WLS formula is used. EGA stands for East Gain Add and WLS means West Lose Subtract. This, in other words, means that for each 1 degree longitude towards the east, 4 minutes are to be added 
and each one degree longitude towards the west, four minutes are to be subtracted. Lines of longitude. A longitude is the angular distance of a place east or west of the prime meridian. The prime meridian is the line of longitude whose angular distance is defined as zero degree. It passes through Greenwich near London. The lines to the west of Greenwich are suffixed with degree W and those east of Greenwich are suffixed with degree E. For example, 60 degree west and 60 degree east. There are a total of 360 lines at one degree interval. The lines of longitude are also called meridians of longitude. Meridian is derived from the Latin word meridianum meaning noon. The sun crosses a meridian at noon. All places on a particular meridian will have noon at the same time. Eastern and Western Hemisphere The prime meridian together with a 180 degree longitude usually divides the earth into the Eastern and Western Hemispheres. This division holds good practically for all purposes. However, any two diametrically opposite lines can also divide the earth into two equal hemispheres. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें